Aristotle had it right. Quality is not an act, it's a habit. Hi, I'm Kelly from the International Institute of Digital Marketing. Let's look at some specific things you should be doing to make quality content a habit at your brand. Habit 1. Ask for input. Connecting with internal teams has its benefits. Many times we have an idea of who our general buyer is and create content for that type of buyer. But interview your product managers and your salespeople to make sure that you're not missing your mark. Habit 2. Create a content experience. Of course, really great individual interactions are important, but more important is the overall experience these assets and interactions create together throughout a customer's entire relationship with the brand. Companies need a clear strategy that defines how content works together to create great customer outcomes and experiences. Habit 3. Make content that attracts. When you're writing a blog post, for instance, understand the person you're writing to and how your content will help them. That result-focused approach requires content creators to consider the following. The objective for the content piece, one key takeaway for the audience, and the next step. Habit 4. Don't create alone. While earlier advice revolved around connecting with your audience, this habit takes it to the next step. Create with your audience. You should weave user-generated content in over half your content. But don't just stop with your users, create more content with employees too. Habit 5. Go for real. Humanize your content. When you go beyond the technology and focus on the people that bring it to life, especially through video and podcasting, your customers and partners will start looking at your brand in a more approachable light. Habit 6. Collect and use the data. Gather as much data on an audience as you can to inform your content ideation or creation. Be obsessive about using qualitative and quantitative data to define the content you create and the channels in which you promote it. It is important to look at the metrics to see what content is resonating and what content is driving results. Then, build on that. Habit 7. Be systematic. Designing a content creation process doesn't have to be complicated. Start with a simple workflow with stages like creating, reviewing and publishing. If your process flows more smoothly, you'll spend less time scrambling to make deadlines and more time delivering value to your audience. Habit 8. Be purposeful. Stop blindly following what everyone else is doing. What works for one brand may not necessarily work for yours because we are all different and we should focus on the qualities that make us unique. For more information, visit www.thedigitalmarketinginstitute.org.